The ability to really master something starts when you actually jump into the water. If you wanna to learn to swim, you need to jump into the water right away. Hi there, it's Kevin Ward, the founder of Yes Masters Real Estate Success Training and the creator of Agent Power Launch, an online training for brand new agents and also the author of the number one best-selling book, The Book of Yes. I'm only telling you that because we're gonna talk about it in this video, which is pr about practice. And this is primarily in response to a question I got from a brand new agent that had just joined my Agent Power Launch. And this is a very common question I get from new agents. And this is the question. Would you recommend that I take this first week or so to learn the scripts and work through the different modules or should I jump right into prospecting and lead generation? So short answer, great question. Short answer, jump right in. Okay, you are, it is on the job training. The, the ability to really master something starts when you actually jump into the water. If you wanna to learn to swim, you need to jump into the water right away because it gives you a context for learning faster than the other way. Now, what it also guarantees is it also guarantees you're gonna make mistakes. So as a real estate agent, you have to embrace the fact that if I wanna make money fast and I wanna grow fast, you gotta make mistakes fast. The faster you fail, the faster you succeed. What a lot of agents do is they make the mistake of wanting to succeed without failure. They don't ever want to make a mistake because, you know, after all, in school we were taught that the worst thing that can happen is make a mistake and then you get a bad grade. Well, in, in reality, in real life, the way you succeed is by failing, failing forward. Just like a child never learns to walk until they face the risk of falling and guess what? They are going to fall down. It's just part of the growing process. And so that's the same way with real estate. So I wanna talk first of all about the principle of practice and training as a new real estate agent. How do I, how do I master the, the art of conversations and scripts and dialogues when I am talking to people as a real estate agent, whether it's prospecting, lead follow-up, listing presentation, whatever it is, how do I do it? So the first principle, if you wanna get good fast, is you want to practice three to four hours a day of actual practice and training on the scripts. Now, if you don't have good scripts, get a free copy of my book, The Book of Yes, The Ultimate Real Estate Agent Conversation Guide. It's got all of the key scripts that you need to make a six-figure income your first year in real estate. Okay, so you go to thebookofyes.com and you get a free copy. All you do is pay for the shipping and handling, tell me where to ship it, and you can get it. So just to let you know that is available for you. Now, once you get that, here's the deal. Three to four hours a day practicing and training on the scripts. I recommend that you spend at least an hour a day actually role playing with somebody else, okay? And then the rest of the time you can spend it actually in personal practice. Now, I know what you're saying. You're thinking three to four hours a day, are you kidding me? That is, I mean, I don't have time. I, uh, nobody does that. Well, here's the first thing you need to understand. Nobody does that, okay? Not one in a thousand real estate agents are gonna practice three to four hours a day. Now, that is truth. The question is, do you want to make the amount of money that those, most of those agents make or do you want to make a lot of money? Because while this is true in the real estate industry that most agents don't practice, if you wanted to play junior high basketball or football, guess what? You would practice three or three to four hours a day. If you wanted to play the piano and play in a recital when I was eight, nine or 10 years old, I guess it was 10 years old. When I was 10 years old and decided I wanted to play, play the piano, I had to practice. My, my wife played, uh, was a concert pianist, and when she was in junior high, she would practice three to four hours a day just to prepare for a recital in junior high. By the time she was in high school and college, she'd practice, practice five to seven hours a day. An Olympic athlete or a professional athlete will practice six to eight hours a day to master their craft. Now we're talking about you being able to go out and sit down with homeowners and do an interview and audition for a $10,000 paycheck. You get a listing, you get it listing price right, 10,000 bucks. That's an average commission check in America right now. Okay, you $10,000. If it's only 5,000, it's still, you can go in and do a listing presentation, boom, take that listing, sell it. You make 5,000, 10,000, $20,000 from one 
meeting from one listing presentation, you think it's worth investing some hours to do that? Three to four hours a day. I know that is like unheard of in the real estate industry, but it's because we have an, most agents are amateurs, not pros. Pros train like professionals train. So three to four hours a day, period, because what I'm going to tell you guys here is going to just like freak you out if you're like looking at that. And I'm going to tell you, if you talk to your broker, other agents, they're going to they're gonna laugh at you when you tell them you're practicing three to four hours a day. And yet I've got coaching members right now that make six-figure incomes their first year, 10x their business in their second year because of this, because they train like other agents are not willing to train. So this is just a principle. Starting today, you take three to four hours a day to practice. Now, we're like, when do you do that? After you do your prospecting. So the second principle is, is every single day you jump right in. So here's how I want you to do it, is you warm up, you warm up, and then you jump in. And when I say jump in, you jump right into the game of actually prospecting. Warm up, I recommend you warm up for 30 minutes in the morning. Just do a 30 minute role play. That's your warm up, 30 minutes of role play, and then prospecting immediately. Three plus hours a day, right there, is you jump in actually prospecting that day. Boom, that day. Go right now, start doing it every single day. Guess what? In that three hours, you are gonna learn a ton. And then if you don't get an appointment that day, you're gonna spend the rest of the day doing that. Okay, now there's a lot of other things you can do, but if you master conversations, my friends, you master the conversations that lead people to decisions, to, to, to set an appointment with you, and then to hire you, you win. This is the fastest way to make money fast as a real estate agent. So now, let's talk about the fast start. So you're brand new, how should this play out? on a daily basis. Okay, so here's how it plays out on a daily basis in terms of the actual practice. So this is the fast start practice uh, recipe that I'm gonna give you. This is the perfect cocktail. So day one, like I'm just getting started. Tomorrow's my first day or today's my first day. What do I do? You picked your first prospecting script. What is gonna be your prospecting script that you're gonna use today? Pick it. Okay, so you get your first prospecting script and I want you to practice it. If you've never used it before, if you're brand new at it, so let's say you're gonna call for sell by owners today, you get the for sell by owner script, you open up to it and you practice it for one hour. Okay, one hour, just practice it. That's a long time. 30 minutes, maybe enough. After an hour, you're gonna know it about as well as you can know it to start and print it out, post it in front of your prospecting station and then you start calling. Okay, so practice for one hour with the prospecting script you're gonna use and then start. Jump right in, okay? Now, next thing that's gonna happen, as soon as you get an appointment, because you're gonna start prospecting now, as soon as you get an appointment, you're gonna press prospect, you're gonna take the pre-qualifying script, the pre-qualifying script, and you're gonna practice it for one hour. Okay, I'm gonna practice it for one hour and then I'm gonna call them back and pre-qualify them. Now, when you're in the book of yes, it's called the seller sheet or the pre-qualifying script. That's the seller sheet, which is actually your pre-qualifying script. Then you practice it for an hour. Just practice doing it, role play it, however you wanna do it, but get it done for one hour and then actually call those people and say, hey, before I come out, I need to get a little more information from you so I can do my homework. Do you have a couple of minutes? Great, and then you go through the whole script. That's all in the book of yes. So it explains all of that for you. Practice that. For one hour. Now, every day as you're prospecting, as you're in the game, you're gonna get objections. So every objection you get, if you don't know how to handle it and you get stomped and they hang up on you or you're in the call and you didn't handle it, that's gonna happen, that's failure, but it's the fast way to learn. Because now you go like, okay, whew, that one stumped me, what do I do? You find the objection, and then you practice that objection. So you take that objection script that you just got, that objection script, you take it and you practice it for 30 minutes, that one objection for 30 minutes. Now, after you've read it a couple times, you go like, okay, I got it. No, now you've got it. Now I want you to master it. So practice it over and over and over again. Practice, practice the lines, say it with somebody, make it conversational. It has to be conversational so that you're actually talking to somebody. Right, so you're gonna practice that for 30 minutes. And if you get two objections today that stumped you, there's an hour right there of practice. I'm gonna practice the first script for 30 minutes and then the second objection script for another 30 minutes. All right, and then every single day, starting today, 
starting today, you're gonna take the listing presentation in here and you're gonna practice it, your listing presentation for one hour a day. One hour a day for the rest of your career. Now, if you get a day where I don't have any objections that day, then you can practice your listing presentation for two hours. Okay, and this is gonna, every day it's gonna give you three to four hours a day to practice. Because after you do this one, your prospecting script, once you've mastered it, okay, you've practiced it an hour a day for a few days, then I'm gonna practice the pre-qualifying script for a few days, then you add your next prospecting script. So now, uh, this may start with, for some owners, it may start with your personal circle script, calling the people you know. Okay, so if, if you, let's say you start with the personal owner script the first day, and you're going like, I need to call the people I know. So the next day you're gonna practice your pre your uh, personal circle script for one hour, and then you're gonna start calling your personal circle. Okay, expired script, same way. So what every day the prospecting scripts that you're, if you've never used it before, you wanna practice it an hour before you start using it, and then you start using it. And then every day you warm up with 30 minutes of role playing that script that is your prospecting script that day. Once you start getting leads, you're gonna practice, you're gonna add in here, um, one of your scripts you're gonna add in is your lead follow-up script. Practice it for an hour and then do your lead follow-up, all right? So you'll add all that in here. So every day, you're gonna have three to four hours a day to practice. Now, am I gonna do this for the rest of my career? Mm, probably not. But here's what you are gonna do. You're gonna do three to four hours a day until you have two, your prospecting is generating so many appointments that you do, now your day is taken with prospect, prospecting, warming up, role play, prospecting, lead follow-up, and then you're going on appointments, taking listings, negotiating offers, and all of that, all right? And then I'm gonna cut back to two hours a day. And I recommend until you are making six figures and probably a pretty good six figures that you keep practicing two hours a day. There's not a pro, there's not a profession in America where performance is the standard, which means you get paid based on how well you perform. Just like in real estate. In real estate, it's about how well you perform. That's how you make money. The better you perform, the more, the more appointments you're gonna set, the more listings you're gonna take. The better results you get, that's how you do it. So you gotta master these conversations. You need to practice it every day. A piano player practices every day. A tennis player practices the skills every single day. A surfer, whatever it is, they practice the skills every day. They practice more than they actually work. They actually practice more than they perform. Practicing is, for most professionals, the work. When performance is the standard by which you get paid. And in real estate, performance is the standard, baby. You perform better than everybody else, you get better results, and you make more money than everybody else. This is the fast track. It is not the easy path, but it is the only path that is guaranteed to win. So do this. If you have questions about it, make sure you post them in the comments below. I wanna help you master this. Don't be an amateur, go pro. Right now, it will change the game for you and you'll always be able to expect yes. Also, if the video helps you and you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share the video with other brand new agents that you know. And if you have not done so yet, subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.